Well, good day there, boys and girls. Uh, it's an absolute beauty of a day here today up at the off-grid cabin. Uh, we're hanging out here today. We got a lot to do this evening. Uh, we're gonna slap together some furniture for inside, work on some decorations, finish our European mounts, and uh, b probably bleach the wolf skulls or whiten the wolf skulls. Sorry, gotta clean out the chicken coop. There's a lot to do, so uh, it's a lot of fun, guys. Uh, there's lots of new friends on the channel there as well. Lots of new people tuning in there. So uh, that's great. Thanks everybody for watching. Appreciate you all. And uh, yeah, let's get right out of Lots to do here today. Tell you what. So we're up in the loft here now, guys. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a bookshelf right about here. I got quite a mess here. I am... Uh, Got some cleaning to do. I'm going to get this done because I'm tracking mud for days and then get all our stuff done. Then we'll clean up or whatever. So uh, I think I'm about four feet here and we're just going to squeeze her in here where we can. Yeah, I'm four foot and then uh, I'll run it. I got some fox fur over there. I'm going to run it right flush and a little bit smaller. It's 31. I should probably go. 30 and a half and uh, that'll be a nice place to put all my books and it's uh, space I was just kind of storing tools and stuff so that'll be good. I've been having quite the day there today on the way in there. It's nice and dry. Everything's dried out nice but I got one hell of a bad spot there and I uh, can't straddle it. It's punch right out. I high center myself every time. Got stuck there this time and uh, I really did. Uh, luckily, I was able to get a rock, and you can see my wheels are just, just packed right full of mud. You know, like look at this shit, hey? Ugly. So, uh, I was able to, uh, I said one day I'd be glad I had this little chinlin spider spade and saved my ass today. I was able to get a rock in. I shoveled dirt uh, to get the wheels higher, lift my axle, and uh, yeah, we got it out right mint, so that's right on. So over here I got some boards to build their bookshelf. This is gonna be about as easy as they come. And uh, these are the same boards I use for the interior walls. They're just one by eight by eight. Uh, they're windbreak boards. So we're gonna cut them up here to size and uh, build ourselves a bookshelf here. So this is gonna work out pretty good, hopefully. Um, we go uh, four feet on each of these. This will be for our sides. I won't be putting a back on this either. I'll just nail it in, save on materials. So we'll get our two sides out of this one. Then we'll cut our different sections for it. Right on. Inch boards, I think. Yeah, so uh, I'll go 28 and a half on my sections in between we'll nail them to the side so that'll work good right on i don't know if money could buy a better skill saw this black and decker skill saw i bought when i was 12 or so and uh, i built a deer blind with it one nice one shitty one i built the whole homestead with it i've done all kinds of stupid shit with it like cut shingles all on the same blade and uh, yeah, I'd buy Black & Decker tools in a heartbeat. This has been just a, the best, some of the best money I ever spent. I paid like 45 bucks or something stupid. Can't kill the thing, cuts awesome. So it's, it's one of the best tools I own. In terms of bang for your bucks, we'll fire up the generator here. She draws a lot of power. Right on. I got some mud on these boards on the way in. Fuck, was I really? I had to give her the full send trap lines and inlines experience. Anyways, I got four of these cut up here at uh, 28 and a half inches. We're gonna stick them in between. Oh fuck, I need one more. So, 
I need one more, I guess. So this project cost me one, two, and not quite three boards. So it's like eight bucks, not even. I'm trying to do as many things here for as cheaply as possible. So where'd she go? There she be. So I figured it'd be easier just to assemble it right up here. Uh, these are gonna go like this and this. So I have to figure out how I wanna space this. I measured my biggest book. I don't have many of my books up here. It's 10, 10 inches will be good. But I got a couple extra inches there. So I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna make the first shelf a little bit longer so it can fit a little bit bigger books if I get a few. And then, uh, yeah, it, it, it's gonna be good. Uh, so I'll probably go maybe 13 inches on the first one and then 10, 10 inch spacing on the rest of them. So it'll be right on. Can you see me? Well, it's time to fasten it together. I'm just gonna screw it all together. I have some finishing nails here too, but I really don't care and they're too long, so. Uh, this is the top of her. Don't really need a top, but it would kind of look a bit funny without it, I figure. And I might put three two there, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll put three per, these are inch and quarter, inch and a half, I don't know. I had just figured it'd be easier to slap it together because it's a little big to lift up my ladder and get through that opening. I can move bigger furniture up here, like some this size, but I would have to do it when I take apart the stovepipe and it's just not worth it. So we're gonna get this set up here in absolutely no time flat. And uh, yeah, so uh, my lowest one is gonna go about here. And it's gonna go about here because I want it off the ground a bit. Otherwise you get dirt and all kinds of shit on your books and that'd be no good. And uh, I'm lining these up. That one's got a piece out of it. We do not care one bit. Like not, not in the slightest boys, do we? That's right. Eyeball this, make sure it's somewhat relatively level. We don't really care too much about that either. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty solid rig, guys. Tell you what. Yeah, so I'm trying to put as many levels to this as I can so I can store the most bugs. Um, like I said, I don't have very many here now, but uh, I got lots on the way, and uh, I got lots more at mom's too, so. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get her figured here. You know what, I think I changed my mind. I'm still gonna put this bottom piece on, but I'm gonna put it flush with the bottom. That way we can drive a few screws right into the floor, hold it a little better. And uh, it's about an inch, my books will be off the ground. So that should be, you know, pretty good enough, I figure. You can change this in like three seconds or you could burn it because it's worth eight bucks. Okay, so we're five minutes into it here now. And it's time for the moment of truth. This is solid rig. Yeah, I didn't put it back on it because I didn't want to. And uh, I fucking told you, watch it don't fit. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, well that's right on. That That is fucking perfect, boys. That is like exceptionally right on. What the fuck was I doing on the top one, boys? That is fucked. That top one is so fucked. <laughs> I uh, think I was snoozing a bit there on my mark. Yeah, I, I buggered that up big time. <laughs> the way of the road boys you 
see it's not a big problem though, I'll tell you that much for free. Okay, so that's looking good there now. So we're gonna reattach her. So I'm gonna quickly, I'm gonna angle drill a couple just, just to hold her straight. I got all my furniture just in, screwed right into the wall. Like this used to shake around, I just bolted it right in there. Problem solved. I, I don't need much here and I don't want to overdo it too bad, but. Okay, that's never going anywhere. She's solid, but uh, I'll just drive. I got a stud there and over there. Just for peace of mind. Yeah, that's so mint, boys. Oh, I don't got my lights going too good here. These are the tits. Yeah, right on. So, now I put some of my books over here. Oh, fucking sakes. Yeah, see, like that one is, you know, getting pretty close to being a uh, little bit too big, the whole deal. I got just the, the wildest selection of books here. I'm all over the place. I got some new ones coming in there. I'm quite excited about. This one goes elsewhere. Some of these. I've been meaning to read some I'm gonna take back because I don't really want to read them. The Lord of the Rings here, I read them this winter. And some other cool books. Uh, this one I'm gonna put in the wood stove come winter. Uh, some of these I don't even know what they're all about. But that one's going in the wood stove because it's fun. Yeah, I got lots of room for deadly books here. Don't read me these ones too closely. It's a little embarrassing, a little childish. I fucking love them. I've read them way more times than I can count. And uh, if we're feeling creative, put our wolf skulls up there. Looks pretty solid. And, yeah, that's going to fall over. Yeah, that'll look sick. We're going to work on them in a second. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to whiten them skulls. So that'll be right on. This is a pretty sick project. And, uh, man, that's right on. Now I need to figure out, I got quite a cluster of stuff here. I got to figure that out another day. And, uh, I was thinking about doing something over here. Uh, kind of hide my wiring and uh, my solar stuff. Might put something there. Might not. I'll let you know. And uh, yeah, that's awesome, guys. So, eight bucks, ten minutes of time, if that. And uh, she's ready to roll. Tell you what. Okay. So now I'm gonna whiten these skulls and. Uh, I got my two wolf skulls, the noseless mule deer, which is going right up there, it's gonna be deadly, and my little hot rock buck from years and years and years ago. So we're just gonna paint this stuff on. I've just laid out a garbage bag and I'm doing it upstairs because if I leave him downstairs, I might be worried about the dog. Now that, because he might chew on him, and I don't want him to do that if there's peroxide on him. It would be a bad day. So I'm gonna start with these. Should probably wear gloves, but I'm probably not going to. Okay, so yeah, these are gonna have to sit overnight. I found some gloves. They're gonna have to sit overnight, and that's why I'm doing it upstairs, leaving them upstairs. Gonna start with the box because I have to be careful. Like I'm gonna have to touch the peroxide to do the wolf skulls, and you can't get peroxide on the horns, or it's gonna look. A little silly. Probably should open this first. 
This is volume 40. I don't know how it works here, boys. Volume 40 peroxide. It's a cream. Uh, it's 12% hydrogen peroxide. And it's uh, in a cream or a paste or what have you. And uh, we're just going to paint it on here. And we have to be super, super careful not to get it on the horns. Looks like I need to put some glue on these teeth as well. Once you boil these skulls, they loosen up and they can fall out. I already glued the ones on the wolves, but uh, I just put a touch of super glue. You can pull the teeth right out. Put a touch of super glue in there and then uh, put them back in, it's good to go. So we're gonna paint this on every inch of the skull. Be very careful around the base here. And they're gonna have to set all night and uh, we'll check on them in the morning. So pretty boring, you just paint it on. Okay, got her done there now, guys. We'll just let that set a few hours there or till tomorrow or whatever. Uh, went good, didn't get any on the horns or anything. Uh, so that was great. Pooch, Matt. We are just having dinner here and uh, we're just gonna have a couple cans of chicken noodle there, the Campbell stuff, the proper size. So we're just getting a fire going. This is chicken noodle, yeah. It's well seasoned too, it's good stuff. You're real lazy today, doggy. And uh, I forgot to mention, you see I got my extra boards here. Uh, here's me talking to the camera, thinks I'm not paying attention to him, silly dog. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got these extra boards. I have stuff in the mail there, friends, for my uh, sink project. They have a sink coming and water pump and such. And I'm trying to figure that out. And I also got an inverter and stuff coming in the mail uh, for the fridge to get it going. So uh, taking a little while here. Uh, shipping is slow way up north here. Like some of my American friends, they'd be used to two day shipping, but I've been busy here for a while. Uh, few weeks there, I haven't turned on the camera, just been busy working and stuff. And uh, trying to find a balance between all the different things I'm doing. So I had it on the back burner there for a second. So I don't mind, like uh, I don't mind eating out of a can, but really would like to get bring up some bacon and have my bacon and eggs and stuff. So that's what I'm doing with the fridge. That's essentially the only thing I'm, I, I need it for is for the meat and stuff. Like I, I'm not too creative when it comes to cooking meat and potatoes kind of guy. And um, I probably won't add any more solar power because the potential for solar power here in Saskatchewan in the summertime is excellent. I think we're about the best province in the world. You so far, the days are extremely long, eh? It gets light out like what four o'clock here at the prime and goes till like 11 11 30. not quite anymore i don't know but in the winter the days are terribly short like you're dealing with less than three peak hours of solar so um it were the system i have it worked great even in that real short uh short day shit the it, there we had a, like a week of just miserable overcast they're in the shortest days of the year. There's the loon. And uh, it's still powered through good. So I don't mind at all if I have to unplug that fridge. Because they just freeze meat outside and it works great. So we're burning my poplar firewood. It's really drying out nice. So you see, I took the tarp off it. I was kind of wondering about it. And then someone commented and uh, said, yeah, I was kind of holding the moisture in there, so I took it off. It's plus fucking 30, and uh, and it's drying out nice. You see, I'm not even spun kindling there. It just rips. It's right on. I also got a few parts for my truck. I got to get it looking a little snazzier here. See, I've just beat the shit out of it here for, well, every day I put this truck to work. You know, fucking this tripod. Uh, yeah, so I got a new grill coming. 
because I just can't bear to look at her in this shape. And new mirrors, and I've fixed my light bars there. I've smashed a few of them. And uh, that'll be great too. That don't cost you much. My mirrors are like 25 bucks, and my grill's like 80 bucks, which is a little steep, but. Way of the road. Well, that was a good dinner. We're just having a cup of tea here and dessert. That's hot as fuck. I have this strawberry wafers. They're like the best thing ever invented. And I gotta put them down or I'll eat the whole damn thing. And I also got, oh, they won't even know what we're talking about, but ketchup chips. I don't think they got these in the States, but I'm not sure though. And they didn't for a while, but maybe now they do. These are also, these are the best kind of chips in the history ever. What do you figure? Don't one? Yeah, you like them. I know you like them. Yeah, they are damn good. Yeah, so anyway, we haven't been here long. It's been a hell of a day. We've been real busy today. It's been a hell of a shitty day. Actually, all kinds of shits went wrong, but it's the way it goes. And good here. Got everything figured pretty good. I got lots more to do tomorrow. We've only been here a few hours. And uh, yeah, that'll be awesome. Can't wait to see how my skulls and my European mountain such turn out. You're just real hungry, aren't you, Dougie? Well, fuck sakes, man. You're trying to have me killed over here. Well, she's a real beauty of a day today, guys. It's not quite as hot, 26 Fair, or Celsius. A um, little bit of a breeze, which is nice. A little bit cooler. It's been so damn hot lately. Uh, it's not too early here now. We're gonna, gotta go pick up the Ram Charger. It's way over there. Uh, take the quad and go get it and then load the quad in the 12 valve. Bring it back so I don't have to walk. Okay, so I just locked all my chickens out in the run, all 20 of them. Makes it easier then they're not trying to escape what I'm shoveling there. See loyal pooch man, he's supervising the herd. And I forgot my grain shovel, or I got, I remembered it this time. So make this job real quick and easy. I haven't even put shavings in here in like two months. You know, you don't need to in the summer. But uh, all this shit, it builds up. You get too much in there, it starts to produce heat, which is great when it's winter. Not great when it's plus 30. So get to clean it out. We're nearly done here. This is quick work with my beauty grain scoop. Yeah, we're gonna be done in a jiffy here. So that took like absolutely no time flat. Uh, I didn't worry about scraping it down too bad, just get the gist of it out of here. And uh, it's good and dry in here, like the floors are good and everything. So that's good. I don't know how these shavings are because they've been outside in the rain quite a while. Yeah, they're not great, but they'll work. Yeah, there's a bit of moisture in them, but it's no worries. So we'll just put a good chunk in my nesting boxes. That way you don't have any eggs break. Fuck. And then they'll sort the rest of that out. They'll pour it around however they like it. So that'll be good. Ooh. You can go back inside now, chickens, if you please. They hang out inside more than they do outside. They're kind of funny. So man, I'm picking some rocks and uh, this is where I got stuck yesterday. You can see this is my axle dragging through here. 
and uh, it looks about the best it ever has here today because it's been plus 30 for a week this whole thing was underwater and uh, it's just it's just bog on the other side like you drive through this shit you will get stuck you will sink uh, this is the only way through it we got beavers 360 degrees nearly can't cut a trail through anywhere it's the only place to go through and uh, it's a son of a gun it's uh, probably the worst spot the very first day I came up here to build cabin over like a year and a half ago not quite I got stuck right here I came back and it had sunk a foot in my truck it's unbelievable and uh, you can see here like I can make it through here today no problem but when it rains bad again but you see this is my front axle and there's rocks in here I'm smashing the shit out of my truck the whole way here's where I got stuck yesterday you can see what I've done here I uh, I wasn't going quite fast enough because I don't like smashing and bashing her I said you know I can probably make her through here in first gear and I high centered her right here you see how bad my whole exhaust tip like my exhaust tip was in the ground my axle dump you can see the liberal repellent there so I took my chin line and I uh, filled the I was able to get it rocking so I built up in front and behind the tires took me a hell of a while and I was able to get it lifted up enough to send her through here so this is probably the worst of it and my whole road is looking pretty good there right now because it's nice and dry but uh, you could drop okay so here's a good point you can drop uh, trees in here like lots of people have told me and corduroy or whatever for sure but I need to pick these rocks anyway there's so many rocks I need to pick no shortage of them and uh, I'm kind of nailing two birds with one stone you know I got to pick these rocks anyway it's the best place to dump them might last a little longer if I fill these ruts up and build the ruts up high enough that my truck isn't dragging because uh, yeah so it's taking me no longer than it does to pick these rocks anyway and now I'm just dumping them in the best spot for them and it works out really good it's gonna take us a hell of a while here but it's the best time to fix it here when it's dry and uh, I'm sick of driving through this and it's, it's a real nice pond really in general whenever I need to do some road repair just go pick some rocks I got so many to pick so talking shit about my the lift on my truck there the other couple videos ago and I kind of regret it I said like uh, you know I don't know if I'd do it again because it's a little more it's a little inconvenient at times and it costs you costs you more and everything becomes a little more expensive like shocks and stuff with the extended shocks and um, it's harder on drivetrain parts drive shafts for sure with a steeper angle but I wouldn't have made it through here I don't know how this camera is doing this justice especially over here because I sink like shit I've already got a hell of a lot of rocks in there but my bumpers would be dragging for sure and uh, you know if I get stuck in here the last time I got stuck in here take two three days to get me out so uh, there's no there's no fucking around with it like it was damn scary yesterday when I was nearly stuck there you know it can't be happening so got to put the work in and I quite enjoy what we're doing here It'd be quite a relief to get her finished and you know I'm glad to pick these rocks anyway so we'll get out her guys check in with you there in a bit okay boys I'm all done with her here now well for the time being anyway this was the worst of it. You see, I put some real nice big rocks in here. I just finished this section and uh, I'm not straddling this because I can't straddle it and without knocking over the edges, uh, you just slide back in, find yourself in trouble. So that's why I've been doing that. But this is gonna work real good. There's a hell of a lot of rocks right here. And you can see I've been driving up to here. I just drove back in up to here. And uh, you see, I drove on these packed them down and now they have mud on them because it's kind of catching the side a bit but this is real solid and then I had some extra I put up here so I haven't packed them in yet and uh, I'm gonna drive on these and they're probably gonna go into the ground a bit I I'm not gonna be dragging anymore which is great but after some time uh, and it softens up pound it into the ground more I'll probably have to come back maybe a few more rocks and and put that in but we'll show you driving across here see how she goes so here we go um it's gonna be anything but smooth here i'm just in four low 
I'll make sure I stay on the trail in my ruts. I didn't fill the rocks quite up to the top of the ruts because I want to stay in the ruts. Otherwise, I might find myself in trouble. Because I don't want to slide off into the bog like you'll never get out of there. Here we are. See, I'm packing them into the ground. That was fucking solid. I can't tell you how happy I am about that. Uh, two things I mentioned earlier that I should clarify a bit. One is why it takes so long to get me unstuck because I know nobody, none of my family or friends that has a truck that can get in here. And I don't want to start a pissing contest about types of vehicles that are the best and such because it's just fucking stupid and petty. It's the lift and tires, okay? Like power, none of that shit matters out here. It's bad and there's so much water in the bush right now. And there's so many beavers that I'll lose my road in here if I don't do something about it here real quick. So I got my work cut out for me this fall and uh, also have to hit the beavers hard in the spring because they've already, they've already flooded the old road. This is my new road and it's gonna be fucked here too in short time. So you can see here, I didn't drag one bit, which is great. See how well those rocks packed in? See these ones here, I might shimmy over something. See, I already got so many rocks underneath there. That's solid. Yeah, so, you know, it's, it's really gonna hold this together nicely. You can see how all the rocks just disappeared there. I'm a bit to the right here, so maybe I put some more rocks over there in due time, but Man, like there's there's a foot of rocks here in some places. So this is right on. Can't tell you how happy I am about this. Like I was scared to go through there. Like that is my back axle. And I've had troubles with this before. Like I can get through here if I really send it. But when you when your when your rear diff is here and there's rocks in here, you you hit that rear diff or the front diff in the right place, you can uh, on the cover there, you can spring a leak and you'd be in big trouble. So I uh, trying to prove that. So that was nice. I got lots of these rocks picked, really improved the land and such and fixed the road. And this is just awesome guys. And I'm telling you, like I can't even tell you how bad this shit is. When you get in or like, see there's the crust. My truck weighs 8,000 pounds. It's gonna break through the crust and you will sink. So uh, maybe just take my word for that on that one. Doesn't look bad now. As soon as you drive through it, it looks a hell of a lot different. And once it rains, hola. I got a quick job to do here, guys. Me and the pooch man. He likes riding co-pilot. I got a quick job to do here. And then we'll meet you back at camp for dinner because it's getting damn late on me. And uh, I got quite a bit to do here around this damn yard doesn't look like I'm gonna get around to it either have to burn all this shit up my quads looking quite a bit different isn't it it's because it's not my quad it's way up in the bush working on a fencing project and uh, put a stick through the rod and uh, it's a big old hole which kind of sucks, but you know, it's not the quad's fault, so I'm not too bothered. So uh, it's sitting in mom's garage there now, and uh, I'm gonna have to order a new rod for it. Something else I have on the back burner. And uh, so I borrow Grampus to work on my fence project and uh, use it around camp as well. Those little 450 Kodiaks, they're solid quads, have three of them. And we've had more of them too. Those Yamahas, the old big bears, you can't kill them. They're solid. I don't think I'd ever go any other route. But you know, there's really only two kinds of quads you gotta stick, you gotta avoid and you'll make out fine. A lot of those quads are really good. Like the Hondas are about as simple as they come. They're solid. I'd buy one of them in a heartbeat. I don't like the electric shift, but no, that's probably fine. Uh, they're about as simple as they come and as light as they come. And you know, any bigger size of quad is just stupid. 
As you get a little 450 stuck, you just lift it up, pull it out, and you're good to go. Get some of these big super squad stuck and you're fucked. Yeah, like I have little 450, never ever do I feel like I need a bigger quad. They're just perfect, good and small and narrow. You can maneuver them easy, get down narrow bush trails easier. Yeah. So for me and my application, I wouldn't go to any bigger size. You might want to go bigger, that's fine. I'm not criticizing you, you know, but I don't think, I think we'll buy the exact same quad when mine's mild out, you know. They're solid, I love them. Wood's drying out nice, real nice. Pulled the tarp off her. That helped, for sure it did. So damn warm here lately as well, which is good. Yeah, things are so, sure growing nice here. Should probably take my drying rock down here one day. We're fighting the daylight tonight. And that right, big feller. What do you figure, kooks man? Good boy. Oh geez, it's really getting dark. Yeah, time to go lock up the chickens and such. Got the old RC brought up over there. You know, uh, it's still serving its purpose, you know, to get you out of the bush if you need to. But uh, it's a real inconvenience having no reverse. No third I could live with. But no reverse is a whole different ball game because if you get the truck stuck like where I was stuck I don't even think you could get around there took up a rope without reverse you really need to give her a quite a tug to to get her out you know you got to take a run at her if that truck's stuck if that truck stuck you got problems because she goes about anywhere keep the bears out yeah so that's a, that's a real hindrance because you need to take slack off that rope and hit her again. Or uh, if you get chewed down bad, you gotta rearrange. Well, you're hardly able to do that. So that sucks big time. Okay, friends, so I've been pissing around in the dark, making dinner. And uh, we've got quite a beauty of the dinner here, tell you what. So we'll go hard on the margarine. And uh, this is a little bit different flavored stuff. I got some of the different kinds because I can't eat, keep eating the same kind every time. This stuff is like sharp cheddar or something. You can get it cheaper and it all tastes pretty well the same. And then we got a can of beans. And then, uh, I'm gonna, holy fuck, way she goes. I'm gonna have some of these here for dessert. That'll be solid. I am hungry. Red rose tea, because you can buy it in bulk cheap and it's not bad. Chuck her in there. And then, I got some real, oh I might have some ketchup chips too, and I got some real primo honey. This is from like a local guy there or whatever. You can get it a little bit cheaper. This whole jar's not too bad. It's right on. I love honey, I fucking hate scooping it. Cause I always get sticky and I don't like that. Okay. That is solid, tell you what. So we're gonna eat like kinks here. Might have to bump you out of the chair, sorry Kooks man, but it's right on. I'm working here in camp in the dark. And you can see here, my deer and my flag, they're not centered, and I don't really like that. And my hot rack deer is MIA. So, 
we're gonna spin uh, multi-purpose in there as well. And uh, gotta be careful working with this butte. I don't want to fuck it up. Yeah, not centered. So we'll set this down somewhere clean. Beauty. Oh, fuck around. Okay. Uh, I don't want to pull that nail. It's right into the stud, it's no worries. Um, so now I know how high this needs to go and I want about as high as I can go without touching the ceiling. I'll line it right up with my Canada flag and I don't know why I didn't line it up the first time, tell you why. And uh, just put that in. You know, these big three inch nails in that one inch lumber, like that's never going anywhere. So those big three inch nails in the one inch lumber, like that's never going anywhere. What oh, the fuck am I doing here, boys? Okay. It's always tricky to get these lined up. I think I fucking nailed it. Yeah, first try, boys. Okay, that's crooked as fuck. Should, should have lowered my flag a little bit. That's the way she goes. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you still not centered? Should have lowered my flag a bit too, but I didn't really, I drove those nails home all the way to hold it there. And uh, that's a problem because I, <laughs> I don't really know quite how to get them out now, tell you the truth, <laughs> without ripping the flag, you know? So that'll be good. That'll be good. I'm not worried about it. You know, it's not a problem. So my dear, it's looking quite a bit better there. And uh, now I'm going to continue to interior decorate. You can see I got my beautiful pan of Fisher pelt. And uh, I gotta figure out where I want them here. I put them side by side. This was my first time tanning. And uh, I did the fishes and the foxes uh, for those who weren't around to watch that video. And uh, you know, it all turned out pretty damn good. Like these are pretty nice tan pelts, but you know, if I was to do it again, I would definitely do a lot different. There's just no two ways about it. But uh, these are different sizes. But uh, you live and you learn, right? It's uh, like I'm going to take my wolves to the to the tannery because I'm not comfortable doing them, tell you the truth. There's a lot more risk on them pelts. They're worth a hell of a lot more, but you know, these are perfectly good for, uh, you know, just wall hangers here in my cabin. You know, like it's perfectly good enough quality. And fucking right, that looks mint. What do you figure? Yeah, that's pretty right on. I like it. The one's a little longer, but uh, it's pretty right on there, guys. Can't wait to get my European mount sorted. We'll go upstairs, work on that here now, eh, Pooch? So friends, my European mounts, they're whitening up good. Uh, they definitely need to sit longer and I'm going to coat them again just for shits. But they're they're looking pretty darn good uh, if I don't say so myself. So that's right on. Yeah, I'm, I've, I'm pretty sure they just need to sit longer uh, to get, you know, proper white. But I'm going to coat them again anyway because I got all kinds of this peroxide stuff and whatnot. And uh, that'll be pretty right on. Well, boys and girls, it's uh, another day here. I don't know how many days it's been. Uh, I got my European mounts done. And you can see I've hung that one up there. And uh, I am super happy with how that's looking. I just got it the tines uh, on bent nails there up top to hold it upright. And uh, it's good and solid. Looks really good. I thought the noseless part of it would bother me, but it's not. And uh, yeah, those turned out great. And I also got my uh, hat rack deer downstairs uh, reinstated there. Anyway, I'm just getting back here. It's nearly dark. I just made her in time. Uh, I've been busy here with hand hop grabs and such. So uh, we've been getting some great weather here 
It's been real nice and dry. Had a bit of a storm come through there and blow some swallows around, but she's pretty good. There's so much I need to get done, want to get done before chopping season. Only a very small percentage of it is uh, on the show and around camp here. Um, yeah, so like there's not much for me to film on days like today because I leave first thing and come back in the dark. So it's, it's tricky that way. Uh, my two big projects for this month will be getting the sink and getting the fridge going. And uh, hopefully I can get a day or two of that. We'll see what happens. It's a little, I might not too. So we'll see how that all goes. Yeah, so um, yeah, like there's a lot going on here. I don't get enough videos out as I do. And sometimes I think people think this is all I do. And you know, um, and say, you know, do this, do this. And all these little things I'm not worried about. And I, that I just don't have time for. So, you know, like this is probably maybe 20% of what I'm doing is what you see on the camera. I sure do love my little shack though. I love coming back to it every night here. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's so nice. Um, you know, I really like it. I thought initially like you backtrack a year and a half ago or however long I'd just throw up a quick shack and then get ready on the next one. But midway through, I realized I could make do with this pretty damn good. I'm glad like these things, they fell into place very nicely, you know, um, uh, yeah, midway point I realized, yeah, I could live here a little longer than I intend to, you know, uh, I can make something pretty decent out of it, and, uh, it cost me a lot less, and it was a great experience, right, because I really did learn a lot from the cabin building it, um, because I, I really didn't know much going into it, and I picked up a lot along the way, and I still have a lot to pick up. You know, this cabin is not built perfectly, but it's built perfectly good enough to last me how long I need it for easily but it says I really like upstairs here I'm so glad I built it with the upstairs for sure because you know I have my nice little workstation my bookshelf my couch everything is very nice and spacious well I've gotten so used to this right but for me it's very spacious downstairs definitely a little crowded it's more of a get shit done kind of room you know I got the dog ripping and a lot going down on downstairs but you know I just hang out upstairs so it's awesome I love it and uh, oh, what else are they gonna say? Yeah, so this is a great video. We got the bookshelf made. I'm happy about that. I want to get some more books whenever I get a chance. That top row of books I take take back. And uh, yeah, and we got my road fixed. I was going over the footage there, and I realized I have not done this to justice properly. Um, but it's a really good. I'm really happy with that because I'm. I just drove through it there in two wheel drive. And I've been driving through it in two wheel drive, so that's awesome. But it really doesn't, and I might put some more gravel on. I, might, I would like to put a little bit of gravel on there, smooth, smooth it out a bit. Now that it is bottom, and the footage I took, I'm not too happy with it because it doesn't really do it justice. It's dark here now for me to go get more, but uh, it's essentially a slough I'm driving through, and I drive through a few sloughs, but this is really bad. It's real boggy and shit, and didn't show it good at all. But uh, you can see, hopefully, you can see just how soft it is by how deep my ruts are. Like, and that's about as deep as you can make them because my, most, a lot of the weight's getting held up in the center there now, how it was before, you know. And uh, keep in mind, this is after I had put dirt on top and packed it down properly. So, uh, it's a real prick. Um, but it's fixed there pretty good now. But I'm telling you how bad that is. It's terrible. Uh, so I'm so glad to get that fixed. Um, you cannot drive through on the other sides of that. It is a slough, the sink, it's boggy. Like, uh, I had to book her. I used to put her in third, go 40 clicks across her. And just let the momentum carry her before I, I first fixed it. Before I first fixed it. And, uh, yeah, so that's much better. You know, sometimes people, they, uh, like I said in my last video that I blow through suspension parts here and there and ball joints and U-joints and shit. And then I get comparisons, people telling me like they've never had to replace uh, suspension parts on their little cars and shit. Like this is not the same thing, right? Like it's a fucking tough life for a truck. Thankful for the old 12 valve. We'll get her fixed up too. Maybe a video on that. The sink video is I'm very excited for this. And uh, fridge video and you know every day we make life a little more convenient here at camp and once I get this fridge and sink going I don't know how I can make it anymore like that'll probably be it and then we'll be off to the next thing.
but that I will be very happy with that. So that's all great. And there's fucking something else I was trying to say here. Shit. Yeah, so very happy about this. I'm very busy and I'm happy about that because I love what I do. I get to come back to camp every night and love this too. And everything's awesome. So uh, it's been a while since I had a video out, guys. I'm sorry about that. I really am. You know, but uh, I should have at least three or four deadly ones. Three uh, for sure deadly ones coming here in August. And then we'll really rip in September and hopefully in October too. But October's busy and we're just going to fucking rip. So, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. You know how much I appreciate you all. I am truly blessed with just a, a really great viewer base. Really nice people leave me really nice comments all the time. And, uh... Oh man, I got a lot to get to. The channel's been doing great lately, so I'm way behind on everything right now. But uh, thanks anyways, guys. I uh, appreciate you all. Um, and thank you for watching my show. Thanks. See you later.